capsule in this little thing. You put the power over it, sweep back and forth, and you twist these two things, it falls down, and you put that top caps on, and you get your capsules. I, I make uh, my cup capsules that way. You can't buy kelp, uh, kelp uh, tablets, but uh, if you make your own, and you know, you're using that real kelp, and uh, you know, it's low. Tom, is the kelp powder much cheaper than the kelp? Yeah, well, it would be in the long run, yeah. You can get a pound of it. I can't remember what the price on a pound of it is, but a pound is, uh, you get a, it is a pretty good bag of it. Where do you buy your kelp from? You can get the, well, I was getting my, I was using tablets, and then I said, what the heck am I doing this for? Why am I buying these tablets? Because there's not very much kelp in there. The iodine's in there, but the, the kelp, when you want it, when you want to buy something, you don't want something where, where they just extract something out of there and then throw the rest of the garbage. You want the whole thing. So the cup, the cup has all kinds of good things in it, not just iodine. It's got all kinds of things in there that can pull radiation out of your body and gets rid of poisons and everything. It's got all kinds of like, uh, uh, I can't describe it, but I should, you know, I've got a book about that, I'd have to take me another hour to go through that. But kelp is ex extremely good. It's almost as good as perilla, not quite. The kelp is uh, seaweed too. And the Japanese have been using kelp for a long time and uh, they, they have low incidences of, of, of regular cancer. They have a bad incidence of stomach cancers there because they use a lot of soy sauce. And uh, soy, like I said, soy sauce, anything soy is not too good. Even if it's fermented, it might change the composition of the soy somehow so it's not so harmful. But soybeans and other soy products aren't really that good for you. Soy milk is garbage. There's no calcium in it. You just waste your money buying soy milk. You waste your money buying any kind, any kind of almond milk or any of that kind of stuff because it doesn't have a proper balance of calcium in it and, and uh, phosphorus and magnesium in it. The best thing for calcium absorption is goat's milk, goat's milk yogurt, or goat cheese because it has a proper uh, calcium phosphorus ratio. It has to be twice as much calcium as there is phosphorus. It's got magnesium in it and it uh, has all the other nutrients. It's almost, almost the same as, it's almost an exact copy of uh, human milk. So you can't go wrong with it. And a lot of people are turned off by the name of goats, but there's nothing, absolutely, once you start eating, once you try it, just, it's got, it depends what kind of goat cheese or goat milk it is, but uh, some has a nutty flavor to it. Has a, like a nutty flavor to it, and some, some doesn't, some is, I, that's all I eat. I don't touch any cow's milk products, they're all poison. I have uh, cow's, cow's milk, it's meant for cows. Cows have two stomachs that they just that you don't. There's lactose in there, it's full of mucus. And all you gotta do, if you don't believe me, how bad cow's milk is, you just get one cup of it, put it on a, in a container and boil it. A bunch of guff comes up to the top, you can scoop it out a little bit of fork. It's just like snot, because that's what it is. It's got mucus, that's what you call mucus. And then I like guff, that I just, that mucus I'm telling you about, it's in all starchy stuff, until you sprout it. It's in all beans, until you sprout them. So if you're wondering why you get a lot of colds and stuff, it's because you're fooling around with cow's milk and you're fooling around with starchy stuff that has a lot of mucus in it. See, I'm going to tell you a big secret right now. You're all going to think I'm crazy when I tell you, but I know it's true because my dad used to be a bread man. He used to bring all this kind of crap over. Bread and tarts and pies and cookies and all kind of garbage like that. You know, and I was eating it all the time and I got thrown in the morning when I was a kid. But they didn't know any better. They thought they were, you know, yeah, that's the way it was. And my mother kept on trying to force milk on me. I wouldn't drink it for some reason. I just I couldn't drink it. So she used to make these chocolate cream pies, just load it up with milk, okay? And I didn't know I was eating a chocolate cream pie, and then I got chlorine pneumonia. I was kicked off. I was laying on my back in bed for about three months. And so that's where I got that from. I'm going to tell you the big secret now. Viruses and bacteria do not cause colds or pneumonia. They don't. Your body has viruses and bacteria in it all the time. They act as scavengers. They eat things in your body that shouldn't be there, then your immune system kills them off and gets rid of them. When you use products that have a lot of mucus in them, like cow's milk products, and, and starchy stuff, like beans and rice and, and, and noodles and crap like that, it's all full of starch. It hasn't, if, the, if, the, if the grain hasn't been sprouted, or if the beans haven't been sprouted, it's all full of mucus. That mucus builds up in your body, it slows down your immune system, your body can only get rid of so much at a time, and it starts building up in your body. So then what happens is the viruses and the bacteria love that stuff, so they just multiply and increase in you. Your body can't kill them off fast enough because they're multiplying and increasing them. So then what happens, your body, in a desperate attempt 
you get all that mucus and all those bugs and everything in your system that are battling in your body, it creates a healing crisis, which is known as a cold, or a severe cold, which is known as pneumonia, or PERS, or some other hocus pocus name that they use. It's all a bunch of horseshit anyway. It's all the same thing. It's just mucus. So, what it does, what your body does, desperately tries to do, is push all that mucus into your sinus cavities and in your lungs so you can get rid of it. And while it's doing that, it's getting rid of a lot of the dead viruses and bugs that your body body makes. That's all that green stuff coming up and yellow stuff coming up. That's all the dead bugs mixed in with the mucus. So it pushes that out. And then all, the trouble is, it only pushes out enough so you don't die. There's still some in there. So you feel good for a while, then you start eating that crap again. Start building it up in there again, and the next thing you got another one. And then sometimes you get summer cold because you over, overdo with the milk and the, the, the ice cream cones and shit like that. Eh? And, oh, boy, ice cream, oh, boy, ice cream. <laughs> all that kind of crap and all, uh, all the cosmetics products, just don't touch them anymore. I had to learn the hard way. Like, when you know something's not good for you, like if somebody put a glass of sulfuric acid in front of you or a glass of chlorine in front of you and told you to drink it, would you drink it? Well, if you know something was that bad for you, you wouldn't touch it, right? So why do you touch cow's milk and why do you eat donuts and shit like that? Because it's all full of that crap. And all big goods that you buy in any store are poisoned. Because they're all full of mucus. And then you use uh, baking powder to make the stuff fluff up so it's nice and fluffy. And then you load it up with sugar. And the baking powder is full of aluminum. As a matter of fact, one of the ingredients of baking powder, baking soda, is aluminum. It tells you. I've got a book at home. Tells you. Cut what it's made of, and they, they, they mix it in these big aluminum tubs, you know. Eight tubs, say, oh boy, hey, throw some more, there. hey, guy throws a cigarette, but yeah. <laughs> mix it up, grind it all up, put it in a box, and the grandma can make some donuts and all of that stuff. So, but, uh, but it's full of aluminum. What does aluminum do? Make sure you get Yeah, can't remember where, where to, you wind up going in the corner instead of going to the bathroom. And that's what happens. The aluminum builds up in your brain, it starts to destroy the you know, dendrons or whatever it is, it mixes them up or screws them up somewhere, I can't remember now, I read all about that, I can't remember what it turns for. Black. Yeah, yeah, it flax it up, yeah, it screws it up. So the aluminum will do that, the aluminum does it. That's right, aluminum is extremely dangerous and it's in all baking soda, and baking powder, <coughs> all baked goods that you buy, it's full of it. That's why when you go to the, when you, I'll tell you a big secret, when you go to one of those stores, you're not really hungry, you're thirsty. Stay away from all that crap. Drink a couple of, couple of cups of peppermint tea or green tea. You're better off. Wait till you're full on that. You, you, you still feel like you have to have something, have another cup of tea. Don't touch any of that crap in there because it's all poison. But the only thing that might not be too bad in there is the salads. And you got to watch. You don't put any salad dressings on there because you don't know what the hell's in there either. It's true. You know. Once you find out something's poison, don't put it in your body because you're just asking for it if you do. Even a little bit. Like this is old lady over here. Yeah, I kind of like her, but she, she's got some funny ideas. I told her all this stuff before. And, uh, and I says, stay away from those muffins. Well, she'll just have one once in a while, she says. But you see, that once in a while thing is no good. It isn't any good. Because you're poisoning yourself once in a while. It starts building up in there. Even if you only have it once every every six months, it's going to build up in the cells of your body. And then eventually you're going to get cancer, or you're going to, oh, where's the toilet? You know, you're not going to know where you are. You know what I mean? You want to wind up like that? No, oh, so don't touch this stuff. I warned you. Don't, don't, don't say, yeah. Well, they were talking that uh, aluminum, if you ingest it, it wasn't as bad as when they were injecting it oh, into your... Oh, it's just as bad. Well, I they, know, but they said that your body can throw it off easier if oh, you did yeah. eat it. Who, who, who's they? Uh, I don't know, some some program I was watching where they were they were going against the vaccines. Okay, talking. okay, I can't tell you that. Well, <laughs> no, no, they were saying that they, what they're putting in those... Yeah, they, they say what they're putting in the in the injections that they're giving I don't you? believe anything they say. No, no, I, I was watching. Yeah. This was from... Uh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It's so poison. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but so they poison. said they're putting matter. it in, in lots of those vaccines. Yeah, oh, yeah. They do. And when oh, yeah. they put it in the vaccines, yeah. it doesn't come out as easy as if you ate it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it well, builds up and it stays in your yeah, body because well, well, yeah. they're shooting you up with this well, stuff. Well, it doesn't come out easy when you eat it either. Yeah, I know, but they said it, it stays really heavy well, in yeah. your body. When but there are, there are ways of getting that stuff out of your body. I've got a, 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 I put this tonic on the board before. It'll completely cure so many different things that uh, I, hate to, I hate to I want to say it. 
but I put this on the board before, and if, if you want me to put it up there again, it's that magic formula I use with the cayenne pepper and the turmeric and all that. If anybody wants that formula on the board, I'll write it on the board right now. Do you want it on there? Sure. Because if you use this at least once a week, it'll break down all the mucus that's in your body or anything else that's in there. It'll kill the bacteria and the viruses off, all like all like guff it'll strengthen your immune system, keep you from getting cancer, keep you from having a heart attack, keep you from having a stroke, it'll keep you from having diabetes, all that kind of stuff. So I'll put the formula on the board one more time. Then I'll shut up because I'm running out of time. Everybody got all this stuff here? Yeah. Yeah. You get the Cal Poly Kelly's or the other place at Centennial Square. You can get the capsules, make your own. That's probably the cheapest way, and then the, the, you're getting the real cup powder. That it's easy to, easier to digest than in one of those little tablets. That's harder for your body to break down a solidified tablet than it is the cup powder. And the cup powder has more nutrition nutrition in it than the, than the little tablet. Okay, I'll write down the uh, formula. 